Hi guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at pinning a channel, showing it and hiding it. So by the end of this video, you'll know what the differences between all those are, how to manage your notifications effectively, by what channels you can see, and how to keep the main channels you use across different teams visible at all times. I'm Gavin Jones. In my day job, I work for a Fortune 500 company as Transformation Manager, and all the tips that we've done on YouTube come out of real life examples or questions from our viewers. We've got a new video coming out on Teams every single Tuesday, so remember to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you get notified every time we release a new video. And let's have a look at channels, pinning and show and hiding them. Okay, so relatively quick video this week, but um, thought it was useful as we've got some new or relatively new functionality coming into Teams right now to do with channels. So we've got private channels now, I've done a video on that and if you want to know more about that, click the link in the description below about private channels. Um, right now I'm going to be covering pinning channels, so that's a relatively new uh, feature. So if you click on the three dots next to a channel, you've now got an option that says pin. And if you pin the channel, what that does is then if you scroll right to the top of your Teams list, is that you can then pin a channel that uh, appears in a pin channels list that's right at the top. And you can pin those from whatever team you're in, multiple channels from the same team, whatever channels you want um, from within the team or across teams can all get pinned at the top. Um, what people have got confused about, especially new starters coming into our team's journey, um, is that you, it's then quite easy to, one, get confused between pinning and showing a channel. First thing you should do when you come into a team is always show the channels that you want to get notified about and hide the channels you don't want to get notified about. That's the best and first thing you should do to manage your notifications if you're getting pinged quite a lot. So in this uh, core project team, I've then got two hidden channels. So anything that's in change management or integrations, I won't get notified about if someone does at channel in that uh, in that channel, um, in the conversations tab. So I've got another video on app mentioning, which I'll link in the description below if you don't know what I'm talking about at all. Probably worth watching that one first. This is more some of the more nuances about um, the latest developments. So if you don't want to get notified about channel mentions in a channel, hide the channel. Best way to manage your notifications first. Any channel that you've then got shown, so if you hover over a hidden channel, you get the option to show it. Um, just as a quick recap, you can go into any channel and, and see what's in there um, without adding it to your list. So you still don't have to add channel notifications um, into that channel if you just want to go and see what's in there. But having it shown then if someone does at testing, I'll get notified. If someone does at recapture, I'll get notified about that. If someone does at change management or at integrations, I won't get notified about those. If someone at mentions me individually in a hidden channel, I still get notified. And actually it's possible to hide the entire team, um, which this one is in my hidden teams list. If anyone does at uh, me specifically, even in a hidden team or a hidden channel, I still get notified. So people can still bring me into a conversation that's relevant. So pinning um, brings the channel to the top of the list. If you, you can't have an option to pin a channel that you haven't already shown because um, you've got to click on it to get the three dots and then if you have got um, a channel there and then try to pin that one then that will show it for you so it gets added to your list stops being italic and um, then appears as a pinned channel at the top and um, if you then choose to hide that channel um, you can't until you unpin it because you can't have a pinned hidden channel. So if then we want to go back to what we did, we've unpinned it and then we'll hide it as well to make sure we don't get any notifications about change management anymore. So like I said, you can pin it, pin a channel across any team. Um, so if you've got one main channel that you work in um, across a number of different projects and they're all set up as a separate team, then you can pin them all at the top and get quick access to them. Other than that, let us know if you find pinning channels useful. I have not um, done it much uh, myself so far to be honest um, because most of our work is all in one team anyway and the other ones I just sort of dip in when I get notified so pinning a channel to then go back to it 
Um, it's not been that useful for me yet because um, I manage most of my view from showing or hiding, um, but it could be useful. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below if you've had any success with pinning channels and how you use them. So if that was useful, I um, just thought it was worth doing a quick video because it has confused some of our users, um, being able to pin, show, hide, um, not realizing the differences between those three. Remember to like the video if you liked it, hit subscribe and the bell icon if you haven't already. And remember at MeTime, we think there's a big opportunity for large corporations to get better at running meetings. We've got a meeting timer in the iOS app store, search for MeTime or visit www.metimeapps.com if you want any other information. Thanks for watching so far, and we'll see you next week.